In this video, I'm going to show you a very crude and dirty uh, motor speed controller or light bulb dimmer. And um, later on in the video, you'll see an example where I use a 12 volt, 20 watt car bulb, uh, which is a car indicator bulb that runs off 12 volts. Um, I would have showed you the motor, which I've got here in the schematic, but I burnt it out, so hey ho, can't show you that. So basically, you've got the schematic here, um, fairly straightforward, very, very straightforward in fact. And uh, what I'll do is I'll move on to the next image, uh, which is this one here. And what this one shows you is that if you increase the resistance on the potentiometer by turning it up, you'll actually decrease the amount of current that gets to the base of the transistor, therefore the transistor will conduct less current through its collector emitter junction um, and that's in line with the motor therefore the motor will spin slower um, fairly straightforward and if it's a bulb that's attached to that in place of the motor the bulb will glow very dimly or maybe not at all if the current going through it isn't high enough if you look at the next image now where are we? here we are, yep, if we decrease the resistance of the potentiometer by turning it down um, then what we'll do is we'll allow more current to flow to the base of the transistor and this in turn will allow a higher current through the collector emitter junction and through the load which is the motor in the schematic so it will spin faster or if it's the bulb which I use the bulb will get brighter um, the lowest resistance you can have here is obviously 100 ohms. Um, the reason I've included that resistor is because that lets through the maximum current uh, to light up the bulb, which I'll show you in the next example. And also, if you don't include a sort of buffer resistor, then you risk blowing the transistor if you turn the resistance of your potentiometer down too low. You'll allow far too much current to the base and you could damage the transistor. Um, this is very, very inefficient. Um, if you want to do this much better, you'll use pulse width modulation. Um, but now I'll show you the example of the circuit with the bulb. Um, hope you like it. Cheers. Okay, so here's a quick view of the circuit in action. So right now the potentiometer over here is turned up to full resistance which means there's hardly any current getting to this transistor here. So there's hardly any current getting to the bulb and certainly not enough to light it up. If I turn the potentiometer down thereby decreasing its resistance it should allow more current to get to the bulb and the bulb starts to get brighter. And if I decrease the resistance fully, then the bulb gets maximum current and is fully bright. If I turn the potentiometer resistance up, the bulb gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer until the resistance is so high that there's not enough current to light the filament. I turn the resistance down again. And the bulb, as you see, lights up. Full brightness, least resistance. Okay, okay. Right, I'll leave it up full just now. Well, I just get this explanation out of the road because I don't want to overheat my transistor. I should say that this is really, really, really inefficient. Um, a really bad way to design a dimmer circuit because the transistor dissipates a lot of heat when the bulb is not at full brightness a hell of a lot of heat. I couldn't touch that transistor with my bare hands. In fact, I better watch what I'm doing. I better switch it off now before I burn a hole in my carpet or something like that. Um, so basically, um, when the resistance is up full, there's not enough current getting to the base of the transistor. Therefore, there's not enough current going through the transistor um, and through the bulb. When you decrease the current, then what happens is when you decrease, sorry, decrease the resistance, you allow more base current to the transistor, therefore more base, more 
collect an emitter current through the transistor and through the bulb and the bulb will get brighter. Um, like I say, really, really, really inefficient. Just a quick demonstration. The schematic I showed you was using a DC motor. Unfortunately, I can't show you that one as I burnt it out. It was only designed for something like 3 volts and putting 12 volts through it um, kind of knackered it. So I can't really demonstrate that. But if you were to change the load to a suitable motor rated for 12 volts, you should find that the speed varies. It will get slow when the resistance of the potentiometer is high, when it's turned up, and when you turn the potentiometer resistance down, then it's, the motor should spin faster. Um, just a quick demonstration of a dirty uh, dimmer motor speed controller circuit. I um, hope you liked it. Um, if you want to do it properly, you'll use pulse width modulation to do uh, this properly. You can use pulse width, pulse width modulation to vary the speed of the motor um, or the brightness of a bulb or LED or something like that provided you use suitable components. I haven't tried it myself yet. I'm just sort of a beginner in electronics but I just thought I'd show you a quick and dirty circuit um, for a motor speed controller and light bulb dimmer. I hope you liked it. Um, I encourage you to look at my other videos that I've got in my channel. I've got some high voltage ones there. I've got one that's quite popular on how you uh, use a car relay to drive an ignition coil to get some quite impressive high voltage sparks. So if you're into high voltage or whatever else, um, have a wee look at my videos. And if you like them, subscribe. Cheers.